Welcome back for another video. Today what we're going to talk about is Sukuna and we're going to talk about some stuff about him and also how you can prepare for Sukuna so that the moment he releases you can instantly basically evolve him or something like that. By the way guys, if you are still unaware, we are going to be doing a bunch of Game Pass giveaways at 40,000 subscribers because our goal is to reach 50,000 subscribers before the end of this year. And the only people that can really help me get to that goal is you guys by clicking that like and subscribe button. And as a way of saying my thank you, I will be hosting a bunch of Game Pass giveaways, gem giveaways, and maybe even some reroll giveaways over on our Discord once we hit 40,000 subscribers. So please don't forget to like and subscribe. And without further ado, let's get this video started. So Sukuna is going to be the new secret unit that's going to basically be evolving from Itadori. So that's basically the main theory right now and I actually think this is actually a very plausible theory. However, they could basically still add a new unit and just give Itadori his own ascension or his own evolution. But um, the reason why Itadori is actually claimed to be um, the evolution of Sukuna is because when you try to ascend Itadori, you can't ascend him. And um, basically only ascensions, or sorry, our only secret units can't be ascended into, the, into multiple ascensions. So secret units and exclusives can't be ascended, which is why even um, Gojo's other copy, even the unevolved version of Gojo, can't be ascended as well. By the way, if my voice is very different right now, it's because I'm still quite sick, so yeah. So, Itadori is going to be uh, either evolving into Sukuna or Sukuna is going to be releasing as a new unit in the next update. We know, however, already that there's going to be a new boss event releasing in the next update, which is most likely going to be releasing this weekend as well. So, let's actually just talk about the release date as well. This is most likely going to be releasing as a Halloween update for Anime Vanguards, which will be this weekend. It's actually crazy to me that it took them two weeks to just release this. They could have released this last week because it was already Halloween last week. But I guess um, there might they might be making this quite a big update. Which is one of the reasons why I think Sukuna could be its own unit and not just an evolution of Itadori. However, I do believe that Itadori is most likely just going to evolve into Sukuna as well. But again, since there is a boss event, there's a high chance that the boss event could drop a Sukuna unit. Maybe it's gonna drop an already evolved Itadori or... Again, maybe there could be two copies of Sukuna. Um, one Sukuna could be its own secret, and then another Sukuna could be the evolution of Itadori, right? So there could be two of these. Or, it's very pot potentially possible that um, the boss event that's going to be releasing could drop Cursed Fingers much faster. So let's actually move on to this part of the video now, which is essentially what are the things that you need to do in order to be prepared for this update, and when it releases, you don't really have to grind for stuff anymore. Because for the last update, I actually had to grind for stars. So I, it took me around 10, 15 hours to evolve Gojo. And that's mo mainly because I didn't have enough stars, right? I had all the fingers already after like about two to three hours. And then after that, I had to grind several more hours because I didn't have enough stars. So today, I don't want the same thing to happen to you. So let me just show you guys something that I found out actually. If you check out all the stars in the game, you can actually see which um, unit will actually use it, use it as an evolution. So we can actually see that, that um, Sukuna is right here. So you can actually see that um, Sukuna right here is um, going to be part of the evolution usage, right? So if you actually go check out some of the stars right here in the game, so if I check item details for this one, I can actually see, I can actually see which unit is going to use him as evolution. So for example, right here, um, Sukuna is actually listed right here as well because Sukuna does actually use pink essence stones for his evolution. Same with green essence stones. Sukuna's right there, but if you check blue essence, Sukuna's nowhere to be found, so that means Sukuna doesn't use blue essence stones. I'm gonna buy a few of this stuff right here just to show you guys as well. Maybe everything that um, Sukuna will be using. So let's go check them out. So if you check um, the yellow essence stones, you can see right here that Sukuna does use it. If you check the red essence stone, Sukuna does use it as well. If you check the purple, Sukuna doesn't use it. But if you check the rainbow, obviously Sukuna uses this one. So this leads us to believe that Sukuna will be using a few essence stones, which is pink essence stone and then um, green essence stones, obviously. 
So pink, green, and then you have red essence stones, and then yellow essence stones right here, and then also rainbow essence stones. And then also, I think purple? No, not purple. So you have to collect a bunch of rainbow essence stones, a bunch of yellow essence stones, a bunch of red essence stones, a bunch of pink essence stones, and a bunch of green essence stones as well. And yeah, you have to collect all of those. Make sure that you have a lot of those in order to be prepared for this next update release. So in order to do that, you could be farming Takaroda, you could be buying stuff from Takaroda every time his shop refreshes, or you could be farming legend stages if you really want to do that or you could also be farming challenges because again those are the ways to basically those are the ways that you can evolve sukuna right and then also the last thing that you're actually going to need is cursed fingers so maybe if you want to be prepared for this next update farm cursed fingers in shibuya station because again that's where you can get a lot of cursed fingers so maybe get around 20 cursed fingers for the next update of sukuna and then maybe get around 50 of each of these stones right here. Yes, I know I said 50 because if you actually go take a look at Gojo, Gojo required around 40 of those stones in order to be evolved, which is actually just a ton. So no, he, he required 30. So I'm guessing that um I'm guessing that Sukuna might actually require 30 as well. 20 to 30. But just to be safe, I'll probably get 40 essence stones for um to prepare for Sukuna. So one of the reasons why I actually think that Sukuna is going to be an evolution of Itadori is because Itadori is already in the game, but you can check all the stars and you can't see Itadori's um, transformation or evolution anywhere. This guy right here, I don't think is Itadori. I don't think that one's Itadori because it's an exclusive. It's not really a secret unit, so this might be a tournament, uh, lead to tournament unit. But if you check basically any of these stars right here, even if you check um, Rainbow Essence Stones, which should have all the units that's, um, that can evolve, you cannot see a single evolution of Itadori right here, although he's already in the game. So, if Itadori was to evolve into someone else, then that would mean that he would be here, right? But since I think Itadori is going to evolve into Sukuna, Sukuna is the only one that shows here, even though Sukuna isn't in the game yet. So, this pretty much confirms that Sukuna is going to be the evolution of Itadori. I think what's gonna happen is the boss events that's going to get added into the game is just going to be an easier method to maybe get Cursed Fingers. Right now, Cursed Fingers are actually super, super difficult to get. It's not very easy to get them. However, once the next update releases and, you know, the boss event gets released, maybe there um, you could potentially get Cursed Fingers a lot easier. Or, on top of that, maybe um, the boss event could also drop an already evolved version of Sukuna. I see that as a possibility. So maybe if you want to farm the boss events, there's a chance that you could get an already evolved version of Sukuna, which is actually very good. Also, also just to be prepared for the boss events, you should also get a bunch of units already. The units that I'll recommend for this boss event is going to be Gojo, Igris. So Gojo right here. Evolve Gojo. Evolve Igris, um, maybe even some Sungjin Wu, and then also get your farm units like Takaroda and Sprint Wagon, and then maybe even Vegeta because Vegeta is super useful in these game modes, okay? So yeah, this is pretty much every info about Sukuna and also how to get prepared for him. So don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out, everybody.